Hello, Jesse. Jess. How are you? I am just sitting here enjoying a cup of coffee before I go to bed. I don't start work tomorrow until 12 to 8.30. So when I say that, I mean I don't start work until 12 o'clock in the afternoon. And I don't get off till 8.30 at night. You know, life... Life is always like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. And um, every day that I wake up, it feels like there's a new challenge or a new phase that we have to go through. And I realize that as we're going through life and we're going through changes, in our lifetime and in our uh, changes in our body. And it comes to my attention that we gotta try everything that we can to survive in this world. Which means we gotta make sure our bills are paid. We gotta make sure that food is on the table. We gotta make sure that all of our bills are paid on time. We gotta make sure that all of us get up and go to work, even though we don't want to. And I know all of us want to stay home with our families and our loved ones. And, you know, just hang out with them. But I know we all have things to do in our life. And I understand, um, one minute. I understand that, you know, life might be challenging, life might be hard, but take a look around you, you're not, you know, you're not the only person that has challenges in their lifetime, you're not, and even I realize that, you know, I mean, me working 12 o'clock in the afternoon until 8.30 at night is not easy, trying to stay up and trying to get home. I mean, that's not easy. It's very hard. And, you know, other people may rub it in your face saying, oh, well, you know, I'm better than you, or hey, you know, I'm going to get more money than you. You know, it's not about money. It's not about rubbing it in people's faces. It's about, what it's about is being a team and sticking together and working on one project at a time. So when you get that project done, then you can move on to the next one. Now we all have jobs. We all have ways of coping with life as it is. And I realize that now. I do. And I realize that every day, every day is a new challenge. Every day is a new breed. Every day, you know, a new baby is born. Or every day, uh, a new dog is born. And a new hamster is born. I mean, I'm happy to have family, friends... Uh, followers, uh, following me and followers. I'm happy to have viewers and everyone on Instagram, including Facebook. And I know that it may be hard, it may be challenging, but we gotta get up, all of us. And I'm not talking, I'm not talking about just me, okay? As your friend, we all have to get up and go to work. And make that dough, make that money to pay our bills on time. And to keep food on the table. 
and they keep clothes on our bodies and to survive in this world. This pandemic, I'm going to just, you know, come out and say it, and I'm being really honest, okay? This pandemic has been the most challenging pandemic I have ever been in. And that's the God honest truth. I mean, all of us wearing masks and wearing gloves on the bus, including our masks and everything, keeping really, you know, protective from the virus is very challenging. Okay, I understand that totally. And yes, does it suck? Yes, it does. It does suck. I can't imagine, you know, children going through this and not asking their parents, hey, mommy, daddy, why do we gotta do this? You know, every day it's a challenge with our children or our loved ones. Every day we're gonna wake up and there's gonna be a new challenge along the way, down the road. It may not come, you know, right now, it may come in like four or five years from now, but there will be challenges that we all have to face, that we all have to work together as a team. We all have to get through it one way or another. That's the only way we're going to survive during this pandemic. Is if we all wear masks and we all protect ourselves. And, and you know, we got to do this. You know, health departments all over Las Vegas Valley and all over the globe are even telling people, if you are not vaccinated... You have to wear a mask and gloves and protect yourselves on the bus. You know how many people I don't see... I mean, I you know how many people I see with masks on, but they wear it like, like down here. And not covering their nose or their mouth. And we all ride the same bus every single day, every single morning, and every single afternoon. And it doesn't matter where you are. Just protect yourself. And remember, it's not just you going through this. It's everybody. Okay, so, like I said, that's one chapter. The second chapter is, don't let anybody push you around. Don't let anybody tell you you are different from others. Okay, you are not different from others. You are the same person as everybody else. Yes, you might have your challenges, but you can prove them wrong. You know, Matt, you know how many times I have proven people wrong in my lifetime? A lot. You know, the doctors told my dad I would never walk, I would never speak, I would never work, I would never ride a bike, I would never do anything like that in my whole entire life. And I understand that. I really do. And, you know, coming from... A family that, you know, went to high school, that went to college, and got a high school diploma. Me and all my sisters went to high school and got our high school diploma and graduated with top A's on our class. And, you know, after I got out of high school, after I got out of high school I realized that, you know, I had to grow up. And I had to realize that, you know, not every day is going to be easy for us during this pandemic. Um, you know, when my mom died of cancer in 2010, I had to grow up. I had no other choice but to grow up. And, you know, looking back now, she was right. After she died, I had to grow up in a way that I can't explain you know I had to come in I had to uh, come to Las Vegas and apply to jobs and um, you know you know start this whole process and it wasn't easy for me to get that get out there in the world and actually you know show people what I'm made of you know if you just give a little love and, and a little touch to one another there was then you are showing them how much you love them. 
I love all of you guys on Facebook and Instagram. And I love all my viewers and followers and the people uh, following me. And I know this is a struggle for all of us all around the globe. But we gotta learn how to stick together as one nation. And I promise you, things hopefully will get better for us. It may be a new challenge every day that we wake up. And we may not want to go to work, but we have to force our bodies to go to work. And work those eight hours so we can go home to our loved ones. And put food on the table and to pay our bills. So don't forget that every day that you wake up. You're saying, hey, I'm doing this for my family. I'm doing this for my kids. I'm doing this for my wife. I'm doing this for my granddaughters. I'm doing this for my nieces and nephews. I'm a great, great uncle. And I'm proud to be one. And I'm also proud to have a loving and caring family. And friends and relatives and everybody. I love you all very much. And I know I'm not always on Instagram Live, so I do apologize. I love you guys. Mwah. Just so you guys know, for the next two days, I'm going to be working 12 o'clock at night until 8.30 at... 12 o'clock at... I'm sorry, I missed a... I miss said that. I'm going to be working 12 o'clock in the afternoon until 8.30 at night, Monday and Tuesday. So I will not be on Instagram. And I will not be on Instagram Wednesday or Thursday because Thursday is Thanksgiving. But I will be on, on Facebook Live on Thanksgiving Day. Because I have a special surprise for you guys. So make sure you guys tune in to my Facebook Live feed Thursday in the morning. Because I'm going to... Record Thanksgiving dinner as uh, me and my mom Kathy are making dinner, and um, it's gonna be a treat. So make sure you stay tuned on Facebook and Instagram because I will be recording either on Instagram or on Facebook. So make sure you guys uh, view, comment, share, and like. And uh, I hope everybody all around the globe is. Okay, and just so you guys know, I'm here for each and every one of you, so if you ever need a friend to talk to you or a person to cry on, you know, I'm here for you. I know how hard life is. Trust me, I, I've been through the other side, and I know how hard it is to put yourself out there so people can see, hey, you're not alone. So... Cheers to all of you on Instagram. Yes, I'm drinking a cup of coffee before I go to bed. I love you guys. God bless. Sweet dreams. And have a great night with your loved ones and your families. Love you guys. Take care. And Godspeed. Night, y'all. Godspeed.